Hi there, my name is April Sawtell and welcome to my channel. Today what I'm going to be doing is a little segment on first this, then I'll sew. So what my goal is here to spend one hour and do as much as I can within that hour of organizing, decluttering, cleaning in my sewing area. So far since I've started this, you could go back and watch the other videos, but so far I've done three of the cabinets underneath this countertop. So today what I'm going to do is I have three drawers here. Now I'm not only going to tackle one of the drawers, the big drawer. What I've realized is this drawer is actually our junk drawer, but I guess I just realized I have two junk drawers. I think I'm going to be able to clean these up and get rid of a bunch of this. The drawer that I'm going to tackle today. I'm going to tackle that. I'm going to take the drawer out and I'm going to dump it onto the counter and I'm just going to sort through everything. I'm going to try to get rid of some of the stuff. I have way too much stuff I don't use. Maybe I don't in that drawer, but we'll see. So for today, I'm going to tackle this drawer. If I find that I get this drawer done within that hour and I have more time, I might pull a couple of things over. Like I have some cups beside each of my sewing machines, like scissors and brushes and owls and all of those little notion things that I'm gonna need when I'm sewing. But I could organize those too. So we'll see. For today, I'm just gonna really try to get one drawer done and maybe those. All right, I hope you wanna come along for the ride. Okay, let's get started. I'm gonna set my little tomato timer for one hour. I was hoping to pull this whole drawer out and just kind of sort through it. I've got stuff tucked way up in the back of the drawer so it's stopping it. So let me just pull that all out. And I'm going to put this all right up on the counter. Okay, I think what I want to do is I think I'm going to dump this out. I think that might be my best bet. I am, I just can't believe I'm in such a mess. I can't believe this is how this little drawer looks. I had this so clean not that long ago. It just doesn't take long to get everything just a disaster around here. Okay, I'm just going to take everything out. just going to dump it. I'm going to just dump. I think that's going to be the quickest way for me. I'm just going to put the drawer back in and I'll start filling it from there. I have done a lot of thinking about my areas here. I do want to change my setup, but I think for now, all I care about is putting the items back in and having them organized and get rid of what I don't want or don't use. And then I'm going to continue to think of how I want my setup and how I want this all to work. So I went to Home Depot yesterday and I grabbed some books just so I could at least start exploring some ideas at maybe how I want my sewing area, which is right off my kitchen to run with my kitchen. I, I'm i not there yet. I'm just starting to explore that and starting to look at some ideas and think about some ideas. For now though, I'm just gonna take all of this stuff here. It's going back in the drawer, but I'm gonna just try to get rid of what I don't use. So this Mickey Mouse fabric was one of my kids when we when they were young and we had gone to Disney and um, I'm going to keep this piece. I had made a lot of hair parties and a lot of little mini wallets with this. They were actually just a pajama pants, but they had all these cute little Mickeys all over them. So it was a really fun fabric and I'm going to continue to keep that. I'm going to do something with it. I'm not sure what. I'm not ready to part with that yet. So I'll just roll that up and set that here. If you did watch the last episode, I said I was going to take these mustaches and put them all together and give them to my grandkids with their Easter uh, goodies. I forgot all about them. So what I'm going to do with these is I'm just going to stick them into, I have like a gift area. I'm going to stick them into that. So those will leave my sewing room. 
that's the thing, you guys. It seems like I have a lot of gadgets in here that are not sewing related that really shouldn't be in here. I'm going to try to make this all sewing related, everything in this room, and I'm going to try to find another area for things such as this. This should not be in with sewing when this is really just a gift that's out of place. Oh, just like this, I have cheesecloth. I'm going to put that with my cooking stuff. I'm going to get that out of my sewing area as well. So that's leaving this room. I'm going to put a box of things that are leaving the sewing room. Okay, so again, these don't belong in my sewing area. These are for the junk drawer. They're zip ties, and I'm just going to stick them in the junk drawer for now. Again, here we go. These are labels. I had a whole roll of labels the other day, too, when I had cleaned on another segment. I'm going to put these with those. Little nonstick fish. I put on my computers, on my laptop, on my iPad for grips, and I also put them all over the backs of my rulers. So I'm going to go ahead and put those in my bathroom. So those are leaving. Those will go in the those are going to go right in here in the box that's leaving this area. I'm just going to take these rolls of tape and they are going where I keep all the tape. I got this to put my remote control on for my cameras. So I'm going to keep this in this drawer. But I can throw the garbage. Another mustache that can go with the kids stuff. These are my grandkids little puzzle pieces. And I was always planning to glue those together and have it so I could use it as a clapper that um, goes on top of your fabric after you iron it. I just thought that would work good. I am going to do that. I think I'm going to try it. I don't have one of those and this has nice weight and I'm just going to see if it works. I'm going to keep this out just so I can get right to it and get the glue on it. All right. I have quite a lot of these. I keep all of these measuring tapes right here. And again, right now I'm just kind of putting like with like, so it's kind of like putting everything away. So when I get to that area, such as this, I can get rid of whatever I don't need. But to get to that point, I need to get everything like with like. Okay, these are my little clips for my quilts. Those are going to stay. Now here is one of those remotes I was just telling you about. This is for the camera when I want to when I'm filming, I can go on and off, and I am going to stick this on right now. There. It's just a lot easier to find if it's on a key ring. Some of this stuff will stay in the sewing room. Like, I have a whole bucket full of notions. So I think I'm going to go ahead and put some of those in that box that says notions. Okay, I'm going to put this with notions. I don't use this over at this table, so I think I'm going to find a place for it. I think a lot of this stuff does not even need to be in this drawer. These are my friction pens. I love those. These are going to leave. These are going to go into my box of notions. These are going to go into the drawer. Really and truthfully, most of this stuff doesn't even belong in this drawer if I just put it in its home. I do use glue sticks when I quilt to hold down uh, pieces, um, like when I'm doing applique and stuff. I have a whole container full of glue sticks. My seam guide, I have several of these. I'm going to put this in one of the cups beside my sewing machine. I'll put the marker with my Sharpies. These are bracelets. I really, really have to stop putting things that don't belong in my sewing area. That might be half my problem here. Okay, that's going to go with gifts. My glasses can go where I keep my glasses. More mustaches can go with gifts. We've got some more notions. I really, I have these and when I clean out my notions drawer, I'm probably going to get rid of them because I don't use these. These are seam rippers, but they're just so tiny. I like a big seam ripper. Oh, I've got a screwdriver here that that belongs in my junk drawer. All these little gadgets junk drawer for now. Keep the instructions for my remote control for my cameras. 
I have another remote control for my camera, so I'm going to keep this one as well. And when I find that, I will put that on this. Definitely don't want these. I'm going to put them with all of the notions. And when I clean the notion box out, I will definitely be parting with them. Friction pens. We'll go with the friction pens. My little bell necklace. See, I've got to keep that. Does it need to be in my sewing area? Probably not. I'm going to put this with my jewelry. It's just a necklace of bells. And it's very old. And it's very linty. Wipe it off with a lint brush. Okay, an eyeglass cleaner definitely can stay. This is junk drawer. Some sticky putty. This is a seam ripper and I don't like it. So this is going to be good, guys. When I get to my notions, I'll put this with the notions. I just don't like this. I don't like the feel of it in my hand. I like a big seam ripper. I know I just said that, but it's really true. I really like a big seam ripper. So, okay, I've got all these seam, seam rippers right now. They're going to go into my notions. This is shelf liner, but it's the non-stick kind. And what it is, is it works good on the back of like um, hot mats. When you make a hot mat for a pan. And I have made them and I've used this. So I'm going to keep this. I'm going to put this underneath where I keep all of my webbing and all that stuff that I went through the other week. I'm going to put this with that just because of the shape of it. I'm just going to make a pile of scissors. And I'm going to make a pile of my rotary cutters. They're all supposed to be in buckets. Here's my blades. Oh, here's an empty container for the uh, pens. I won't use that. I'm going to throw that. These are labels and I need those in my sewing area because I like to just sometimes um, use them on my quilts when I need to, when I'm color coordinating or when I'm, I need some pattern of some sort and that will help me. I, or I need numbers like one, two, three, one, two, three, something like that. I will use these. Okay, here come some rotary cutters and scissors. Christmas ornaments do not belong in here. So those are going to go to go. When I put the labels on the backs of all my quilts, I always use this gingham and um, I like to keep that right handy. So I'm going to keep all these pieces in the drawer so they are handy. These were for Christmas. I'm going to put this in this little Christmas bag. These are decorations that the kids uh, can work on with markers and stuff. So I'm gonna keep that all together. And these little hats, I'm gonna keep them for now. I'm not sure if I'll really keep them. Okay, rotary cutters, more mustaches. <laughs> okay, I have a lint brush here and I have a whole bunch of them behind me, which that is another cabinet for another day. But I'm gonna put this right where this goes. I'm going to take masks. I have a whole bunch of masks in another room. I will put that with the masks. My little snips. Okay, so what I had in here was these were things that were readily available at my fingertips when I'm standing doing videos. So these are things that I'm going to need. Let's see. Let's dump it right out wipe it out a little bit so I like to have a measuring tape now I have a lot of measuring tape so it looks like I'm going to be able to get rid of some I like to have a calculator handy my friction pens are going to go in that and I need a sharpie chapstick I use that quite a lot when I'm at this table so I'll put that in there okay there's more tape here that does not need to be in here I have these pens and I'm not going to use them. These are going to go with the gifts in my box with the gifts. I'm really going to get rid of them this year. I'm going to be cleaning that area out and all those gifts are going to be leaving. Because what I find is when I need a gift, I can just go buy a gift. I don't need to have a stockpile. That's what I'm trying to stop doing. Here's my other remote that I was looking for and that's just on a string. So I'm going to keep that and I have... The one remote on this, I don't know if I like it on this. I don't know if I like it on this one, but for now, I'm going to keep that, but I'm going to get rid of these too. 
I, I don't need these. I'll just put it on a piece of fabric if I have more remotes. I have a random piece of rope here. I'm going to put this in my junk drawer, but I'm going to be getting rid of it when I clean the junk drawer. This is my seamstress chalk, and I am going to go ahead and put this right in my little basket here, too. I'll just set it here. I have more in my notions drawer, and I will probably rearrange that uh, once I get to that. I'll take out more chalk and find a bigger container for it. I have this little container here that I'm going to put like my snips, like my safety glasses. I have these little boxes and this is the cover to a tin. I'm going to keep these set aside for right now and think what I'm going to put inside of them. I have a pair of gloves here. I'm going to keep these here as well because when I'm doing a project that I don't want my hands to get like glue on them, I want to have that handy. So the pens and the marker, these little scissors. I don't want these little scissors, honestly. I'm going to get rid of them. This is a little key ring. I'm going to keep this because I might end up getting another remote and I might want to have it on it. Any little pieces that don't belong are just going to go to my junk drawer for now. I mean, we need these when we hang things up. But when I clean the junk drawer, I'll get rid of all that stuff that doesn't belong. These key rings I had underneath in the cabinet. I put them up here and I said I will get to them with my remote controls because I may end up needing them for that too. This jewelry cleaning cloth can leave this area as well. This can go where I keep my jewelry. I don't think I need this little... Oh, this is for the GoPro camera. Yeah, I do need that. I will put that with the cameras. My little duct tape wallet that my daughter made a long time ago, and I do want to keep that. I don't need that in the sewing area, though. This little bag, I think I'm going to put this with bags. I have this long stick, and it's really thin, and I've had it a while, but I am going to keep it as a notion. I'm going to put this in with my notions. I'm really not sure what it's for. Actually, I'm going to keep this right in the drawer. It looks like it would come in handy for something, though. This goes to Jenga, so I can put that with that. Stickers don't belong in there. Okay, these are all of my blades. More seamstress chalk. These are my blades for my rotary cutters, and I am going to put these all in... That's garbage. I'll put these back in here. And I'll keep that zipped up. Oh, more blades. And I'm going to take my rotary cutters and I'm going to put them in this bag. This was my aunt's bag. I think I told you guys that on one of the videos. And I'm going to keep all of the rotary cutters right in there. I'll put the clothespin. The clothespins go. And the glasses where the glasses go. Pens where the pens go. One straggling baggie I'll put with the recyclable baggies. And one piece of candy. I'm going to get that out of my sewing area too. Now I'm going to put scissors with scissors over by my sewing machine. And these are my pink and shears. Look at my drawer. Boy, does that look good. Here's what I need all the time. There's my little clips I was going to keep. My gloves and my little eyeglass cleaner. There's my remote controls and my safety glasses. All of my rotary cutters. My labels. And here are all the blades. This is awesome. There's this. I love it. This I will be able to manage. This box is what's leaving the sewing area. I'm going to put like with like and I will come back. And when I go through that stuff, I probably will be getting rid of a lot of that stuff. But for now, I'm still going to put like with like. And now I'm very, very happy with this drawer. Right now, I'm about 29 minutes in, but I thought I would give myself one hour and I would be able to do more stuff today. 
unfortunately I need to take off so I won't be able to spend an hour doing it but I've spent 29 minutes and I've got one nice big dent done for today. If you ever want to see more than just sewing and you want to see some decluttering or some organizing, some weight loss, jump over to my other channel, Hanging with April. Okay, don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and comment. I feel really happy and good about what I got done today. I did have to cut it a little bit short. I only was able to work for 29 minutes, but I got a lot done. I'll see you next time. Remember to keep it simple. Have a great day. Thanks for watching. Bye. Say bye, little Miss Ready Thready.